So I went to the movie theater tonight, and I couldn't decide between these two films. This movie, or Annie? What do you guys think I chose? You gotta watch this review to find out. Hello everybody, it's I, Brian Sophia Tay. I'm here to review the latest Night at the Museum film, Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb. This film is once again directed by Sean Levy. It stars Ben Stiller, Robin Williams, Rebel Wilson, Dan Stevens, Ricky Gervais, Owen Wilson, Steve Coogan, lots of people in this movie. This is the third installment of the Night at the Museum franchise, and it's actually the last one. Now, I remember seeing the first two as a kid. The first one came out in December 2006. I was eight years old. I was in third grade. I really enjoyed it. I still like it to this day. It's not great, but it's still a fun movie. The second one came out, I was 11, May 2009, fifth grade. I thought it was all right. Same, it was the same thing, but just different locations. Now we have this one, five years later. What this movie's about is that, obviously, if you guys have seen the other two, you know about this magic tablet that gets all these exhibits to come to life. And when the tablet starts acting up, Ben Stewart has to go to London, basically get all this fixed. He's got to take all the exhibits, not all of them, but, you know, the main ones, the important ones, with him to London to get this figured out, save them all before it's too late. I wasn't that excited for this movie when it was announced. I thought it looked, it looked, the, ex it looked the exact same. Then I started thinking, you know what, maybe this could be fun. Maybe it could be good. Maybe it won't be good. It was okay. I, I had fun. It was an alright movie. It was entertaining. That's what its job was. And it was only 90 minutes long. Very fast paced. Not boring at all. Jokes were funny. Some of the jokes were funny. Some of them were ugh, kind of forced. Is this the best one in the franchise? No, I think the first one is the best. This one, it, is this a satisfying conclusion like The Hobbit was? It's a comedy franchise. No one expected this to be a trilogy, just like The Hangover. The Hangover didn't have to be a trilogy. In the beginning, it is mainly for kids, but then it gets more adult jokes, but still jokes for the entire family, and it was fun. I had fun with the movie. I'm a big fan of Ben Stiller, and I always thought he was good in this franchise. He still plays the same character in this movie. He, he doesn't do his thing wrong. My favorite characters are Owen Wilson and Steve Coogan. I love them as the miniature fingers. I've always liked them ever since the first movie. And here they still are great together. I was really excited to see Dan Stevens as Sir Lancelot. But I just didn't love the character like I wanted to. He was funny. But he just wasn't hysterical. Like laugh out loud funny. Rebel Wilson. I loved her in Bridesmaids. I really liked her in Pitch Perfect. But she's kind of playing the same character from Pitch Perfect here. Except it's more of a family friendlier version. But now let's get to the one that I was really looking forward to seeing, and that's the late, great Robin Williams. Robin Williams is someone I grew up with. I loved Robin Williams. I never made a video about him. I miss the man. His death really broke my heart. It It's sad. It's great seeing him here, and the ending of the movie, his last scene in this movie, his back and forth with Ben Stiller, it's, it's sad. His performance is funny, it's haunting, and it's amazing. If you loved Robin Williams, you should probably see this because this might be, I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is his last movie. It's a fun movie. It's an okay movie. I think it's mainly for the children. Well, mainly for the families, but there's not enough jokes that say, oh yeah, this is just for teens and adults. But you know what? It's for the families. Kids will love it. Teens will be like, it's okay. Adults will be like, it's okay. Like I said, some of the jokes didn't work. There was a subplot with Rebel Wilson and this caveman played by Ben Stiller was just, meh, it was alright. The caveman though, played by Ben Stiller, like, yeah, there's this caveman who looks exactly like Ben Stiller's character, and when those two interact, Ben Stiller and his caveman character, it's pretty hilarious, actually. It's so funny, and it works very well. Overall, Night at the Museum Secret of the Tomb is a fun movie. It's not a great movie, but it's a fun movie. Is it, like, the greatest conclusion ever? It's a comedy movie. Yes, it pays off things very well. It ends very nicely. It dedicates the film to Robin Williams and Mickey Rooney, too. That's really nice, actually. And then it says, Magic Never Dies. I thought that was really sweet and really beautiful. Robin Williams, I'm going to miss the man. And it was great seeing him on the screen, but it was also very sad. But overall, this was a alright movie. Not a great movie, but if you're looking for someone to see over the holidays with your kids, go see Night at the Museum 3. They'll love it. The kids will love it. You adults might love it, too. I don't know. I'm giving this film a C+. Plus. I thought it was an alright movie, just not a great movie. But it's Night at the Museum. Hopefully there's no more films, because I thought this film ended the series perfectly. And that's it. So guys, if you've seen Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb, tell me what you thought of it down below. What's your favorite film in this series, if you like the series at all? And what's your favorite Robin Williams movie? And 
Shout out to Fashaw. That's it. Fashaw, you happy? Good. I'm, I, I, I can't do these shout outs anymore. Adios. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this review, and I'll see you guys soon.